Hi guys, welcome back. Um, got a new trick up my sleeve today. Um, I tried using Vivaldi at work and um, it's not quite there yet, that browser. Hang on, I'm being a bit blinded here. And it's not quite there yet, so um, just a little irritating things ha kept happening with it. Developer mode's not quite what I want, you know, it doesn't give me the mobile stuff. So I went looking for another solution. Um, you know, because on previous videos I've got like a side tab here and I've got the documentation kind of here. Well, I found something better. See this here? It's called Always on Top. And you have to go into, um, you have to, well, just read the instructions, but you have to enable an experimental feature for it. But it does mean now that I can have the guide there and we can read through it now it does cover up my face um, but I think we only need my face really for the start and the end when I talk to you and uh, you know and I'm saying daft things like this so we are going to carry on today with um, I notice it didn't cover my face up then but I don't know um, configure image properties for a theme um, we did this last video if you want to look for the series um, just search uh, oh, well, I'll just I'll give you a link for a playlist okay um, and then you can see me go through um, other the, the installation and these other sections here okay but in this one we're going to go for configure uh, image properties for a theme okay uh, so it says here, I'll just get sublime text up. The properties of the product images used on the storefront are stored in the view XML configuration file. I wonder if I can, oh yes, I can make this bigger for you guys as well. Okay, so. Oh, God, that's not easy to do. Excuse me, I'll just get that to a responsive stage. This topic provides all the details about what properties are available and how to configure them. The properties for the images displayed on the products pages are defined by the gallery widget options. The options of the widget can be configured in the theme of view XML as well. For detail, view the gallery widget topic we will do at some point. Right, so it's talking about this. Remember in a previous video, we... I'll just get my face back. Um, we pasted this in from the blank theme and it's got all these different things. Um, hopefully this chapter's about to tell us um, what it's about. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. The conventional location of View XML theme is theme dir etc view, as we can see here. etc view. For example, here is the view XML of the Magento blank theme, which is this one, because I copied and pasted it in. In view XML, image properties are configured in the scope of images module equals Magento customer element. Images module. Let's go and look for that. Images module. Okay. Images properties are configured for each image type defined by the ID and type attributes of the image element. Okay, so image properties are configured, okay, for each image type, okay, defined by the ID there, like that, and type attributes of the image element type. So we have things like bundled product customization page thumbnail. Okay, um, car page product thumbnail, <laughs> small image. <laughs> That's, the product thumbnail is not a thumbnail, it's a small image. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay, maybe that'll make more sense later on, but that was funny. Gift messages, check out, small image, small image, okay, all right. Yada, yada. The following table describes the attributes in detail. Are you ready for this? Okay, so ID, this is the image identifier unique in the scope of the theme. 
can have any value, okay. And then it's just and it's just telling you to be sensible about it basically. Um IDs are used in PHTML templates for defining the type and properties of images displayed in each particular location on a particular page. Okay. Type. The types of the images defined by the specified ID allowed values so you can't make these up apparently image corresponds to the base image role in Magento admin small image corresponds to the small image role in Magento admin swatch image yep yeah. thumb swatch thumb and thumbnail corresponds to the thumbnail image role in the Magento admin oh they're all in the Magento admin. I just thought they were the Magento theme. All right then. The following picture illustrates how image roles for role roles for product images are specified in the Magento admin. All oh, right, so you've got little tick boxes there. Let's um, let's make that. I just maybe we can make that bigger. No, we can't. Oh, I'm making a right mess of that, aren't I? Right, so I don't know if you can see that. I've tried zooming in, but basically there's there's tick boxes in the corner there. Um, and I can't right click on that, so you'll just have to go and look for yourself, I think. Image properties are defined by the corresponding elements. For example, image module image properties are defined by the corresponding elements for example so we've got an image in the module and there's magento catalog image id unique image id type image width height and then finish it off the following table contains a list of all the properties which can be configured excuse me is it so width and height i um, Please don't make me explain that to you. Um, constrain. If set to true, images are smaller than required by configuration and uh, are not enlarged. If set to true, images that are smaller than required okay, by the configuration are not enlarged. So basically it's not going to take the quality down. I'm just going to put my face there for a sec. Um, aspect ratio, ratio. Sorry, if set to true, proportions of images are not changed, even if required by the configuration default value. Okay, so that's got like an override, I think, uh, of the of the aspect. <clears throat> like if you, all the images on the theme are square, um, you could kind of override that behaviour. Frame. If set to stream, images are not cropped. Default value. True. Applied only if aspect ratio is set to true. So if you're trying to set frame to true and it's not working, it might be because that is wrong. Transparency, if set to true, the transparent background of images is saved. If set to false, images have the white background by default. You can set the colour of the background using the background parameter of default value true. And background, we can set it. Um, so the colour, not apply to images with transparency. So... It's set to true, so the format is like a PHP array. That would be white. 255, 255, 255 would equate to a white pixel. Alright then. Resize catalog images. The Magento catalog images resize commands enables you to resize images for display on your storefront. For example, after you import products which might have variable sized images if images were resized or deleted manually from cache if you accidentally did it 
each image assigned to a product must be resized in accordance with image metadata defined in a module's view XML configuration file. Each image assigned to a product must be resized in accordance with the metadata. So when you're uploading, it's going to check this file to see what it should be doing with it. After resizing an image, its resized copy is stored in the cache. Woohoo! Pub Media Catalog Product Cache Directory. Let's have a look in there. Pub Media Catalog Product Cache One Small Image, which is uh, that there, two forty by three hundred. A long, long. That must be some kind of like hashing value that's used to determine whether it's new or not. And if we just get rid of me and the documentation, we can see there that has been resized to what it should have been. And can I get any details about this in Sublime? So 240 by 300 pixels, we will see that we have many of these category page grid category page is 240 by 300 pixels okay so that makes sense let's get my face and the documentation back in fact let's just hide my face for the minute where was I okay so generally product images are cached while saving the product however sometimes you might need to recreate the product images cache using this command for example I have to import products if images were resized manually in the cache, or if the cache was manually cleared by mistake. <laughs> what I just said before. Um, so we would do our Magento command. Now I've made a bash script for this, so um, um, you, you can see me doing that in an earlier video. So if we... You would go to your Magento install. Like that. And I have, if I say which Magento, um, I'm doing this as the HTTP user. Uh, I've still not quite made up my mind about whether I should be doing that or not. Um, but for now, it, it kind of just works and it allows us to play. But in development, I think I'm going to have a different setup of permissions and users. So let's give this a try. Let's see what it looks like. So Magento, if you've not set yourself up a little alias or bash script called Magento, then you're going to have to follow the full thing here. Um, but I'm just going to paste that in and give it a whirl. Oh, can you see it? the activity going down there? Did you see that? It's creating all the images. And it's actually... I'd only created a few images because I'd only been on one little bit of the site, but it's actually doing all of them for me now. So I'll have them all pre, pre, well, pre prepared. <laughs> That's you know. So I'll just take you down there. We've got a progress bar, and you see it's filling up all this here. Uh, definitely going to take quite a long time to do because I've got the sample data installed again. Looking at looking the earlier video for how to get the sample data sorted out. Oh, look at all these! Oh, they're, they're all here. I'm hoping that that bit there is the end. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> It, <laughs> it's not that sophisticated a progress bar. What's my camera doing over there? It's coming over here. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the diz the dizio. Yeah, the dizio. I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to um, uh, come back when this has stopped doing its thing. Now, when I thought I w was going to be back, I thought this was going to be done. Like. 
I've been gone a while. I don't know what the time said before, but if, if well, I'll go and check it on the video, just rewind the video and see how long I was. Because I like went to the toilet and made a cup of tea and all sorts, and still going. Okay. I don't. I think I'm just gonna control C this one because I don't see why I need it. Right. I'm in developer mode anyway. It creates everything I need, doesn't it? So, okay, so that's that. Let's go back to this. This command has no arguments or options. A progress indicator displays while the command runs. It's a bit of a pro uh, yeah. It's a shame it doesn't know how many tasks it's got to do first. But anyway, can't be can't be too fussy, can we? We've waited long enough for this. Um, the message, product images resized successfully, displays to confirm the command succeeded. Just in case you didn't work that one out. Okay, but you should know what to expect. Um, okay, so that's that chapter really. Um, that's what that massive file's for. Still don't know about... Now, what's that? VAR. Main gallery, nav loop keyboards, turn it off and off, keyboard arrows, navigation. Still don't know about what. Um, yeah, this format's about. I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure this must be a module and then it's. and then it just relates to a folder. But anyway. Right, so in the next video. Um, what we're going to look at, let's have a look. And I'm going to do this just straight away, I think. We are going to be looking at Theme Inheritance. That should be an interesting one. It should be one that um, could trip people up. So, in the Theme, in the theme Inheritance video, I will see you. Um, why not subscribe to me if you're kind of interested in me dawdling through this documentation. If, you know, just want to feel like you've got someone with you doing it. Um... Uh, and uh, and like the video because no one's liked any videos yet and I'm just wondering if this is worth it so uh, like the video let me know um, so cheers see you bye